Hello, welcome to Startup 101. Now, this is your virtual entrepreneurship class, and we have been learning some amazing things, breaking down some vocabularies in the last episode, and this episode will continue again. But before I continue, you know what to do? Subscribe to, the, or to this channel, click on that button right now. If you have not click on it, please click on it. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are in class, and today we are going to break further more vocabularies get to understand this business dragons that you've been hearing and get familiar with them very important okay so last episode we had about 10 of them let me see whether we can do another 10 today and get familiarized with this dragons or words uh, or vocabularies and get into business okay let's go franchise and i believe you've heard about franchise Several. So let me let me let me do the definition, and I'll do I'll see whether I can do some explanation of of what franchise. So it's a franchise. It's a large business with multiple locations that can be each purchased by individuals. For example, McDonald's and uh, KFC. So these are businesses that are scattered all over the world, but each of these branches belong to independent owners okay or entrepreneurs so they buy the franchise from the mother company and we call these people franchisee okay and i'll explain that in the next vocabulary okay so a franchise is a large business that has several locations belonging to independent entrepreneurs okay very very important the next word franchisee so that is the third party or individual that buys the rights to certain franchise locations okay so if you want to start a restaurant in your locality you can contact the original owners of the brand like mcdonald's or kfc and ask that you want to you want the right to be able to set up that kind of restaurant within your community okay so you become the franchisee for the franchise okay the next word is the franchisor the franchisor is the parent company who provides a license privilege to a franchisee location to be operated by a franchisee very important so the franchisor is the one that owns the main brand is the owner of the brand the name and everything but he's the one that gives you the right to use their brand name, their, their menu, their everything to be able to operate in their name within your locality. Very, very important for you to take note. Then the next word we are going to look at is fringe benefits. Okay, fringe benefits. Benefits provided by an employer to its employees in addition to their standard salaries. For example, health insurance access to a company vehicle are free to benefit so if you are working within an organization you have your standard salary but the organization offers you other benefits that are not part of your standard salary okay like a car a company car um, health insurance accommodation these are fringe benefits okay they are outside your regular or your permanent salary that you earn okay another word we are going to look at is gross profit very very important a company's gross revenue minus the cost to make the product gross profit is the company's gross revenue minus the cost of the product okay gross revenue that's the next thing i want us to look at the financial gain of the company over a given period of time gross revenue is the total gain financial gain of a company over a given period of time another one general partnership the association of two or more people to run a business partners are personally liable for the other partners actions and they have a shared goal of earning a profit so two or more people coming together as a group to start a company and each of them are liable for the other person's actions and that is a 
partnership. So they form a partnership to be able to start a venture or go into business. Very, very important. Independent contractor. An independent contractor. An independent contractor is an individual, a business or a corporation that provides a service to another entity for a set of fee. This can be facilitated through a verbal agreement or a formal contract. Okay, so it's an independent a person, a business or a corporation providing a service for another entity at a fee and it must be binded by either a verbal or a written contract. Extremely important. Intellectual property. Next word, intellectual property. One's knowledge or ideas that have value and are protected under copyright, trademark or patent laws. So when we are talking about intellectual property, it is your knowledge or ideas that have value and that are protected under copyright, trademark or patent laws. So you can write books, a poem or whatever and those are your intellectual property. They are things that came out from you and you have protected them by copyright, trademark or patent laws. Very, very important. The next one, joint venture. A short-term business arrangement between two or more parties in which the parties combine resources for a specific project. Okay, and let me take it again. A short-term business arrangement between two or more parties in which the parties combine resources for a specific project. The partners are equally responsible for both positive and the negative development within the venture. Very, very essential. The last one I want to talk about, letter of intent. Okay, a, a non-binding document between two parties that declares the intentions of a business transaction. So when you uh, start a business, you may ask for a letter of intent from a potential buyer. Okay, so you have products, you produce products and you want to uh, to know if people will be interested in buying your product so you have to pitch to maybe a supermarket the supermarket can give you a letter of intent that if you are able to produce to meet the specifications we will be able to buy but note that it is a letter of intent it has no contractual binding uh, uh, laws around it so it is not a binding agreement. That's why we said that it is a non-binding document between two parties that declare the intentions of a business transaction. It is called a letter of intent. And I think let me do one more, then we end today's episode, liabilities. And that is why I want to do it. A financial debt or obligation for which a business is responsible. Okay, a financial debt or obligation for which a business is responsible. It's been an amazing session, but let me do a little recap and then we end today's class. Okay, so today we've, we've tried to crash a few vocabularies again. We did franchise, uh, franchisee, franchisor. We did free benefits, general partnership, gross profit, gross revenue, an independent contractor. We look at intellectual property, joint venture, letter of intent, and liabilities. Okay, so it's been an awesome day. I hope you've learned something on the Startup 101.